<laughs> Look at this cluster. Look at this cluster. Oh no. Hey, hello everybody, Grace to Blaze, and we're back with more brick rigs. I'm gonna cut to the chase. We're gonna blow some stuff up today. I guess we blow stuff up every day, but we're gonna blow stuff up extra blow up -y today. Over here by Ray Domics. The K-10 missile system. I'm gonna say this is probably my absolute favorite missile rocket whatever blowy up explosion system I've ever seen in the game yet. It is so easy to use and so obscenely destructive. Armed with five rockets or missiles, however you want to call them, on the top of the vehicle, it fires them in incredible rapid succession. I love it because you don't have to mess around and like you know, detach and then fire and detach and fire. You can fire them all as much as you want and you still have armaments on this thing as well. It is effectively a tank chassis with a five rockets on the top. Let's blow some buildings up. So first things first, we have a fantastic site over here that we can utilize to find anything that we want. Once you have your mark on, all you have to do is press on the W key and then numpad two through seven to watch the fireworks. Fire the missile! And the first missile is away. Let us watch in glory as it slams into the side of a building, destroying it in its totality as meteorite-like fireworks Spray into the distance. Oh, it's so good. And that's not even the half of it. You can fire these as fast as you want, by the way. So here we have a trio of buildings right ahead of us. It looks like they're going to need to explode a gate. Fire the missiles! Missile one away. Missile two away. Missile three away. <laughs> oh, man. I gotta tell you. For taking out various like aerial vehicles or really even ground vehicles but especially aerial vehicles this has got to be the absolute best and speaking of aerial vehicles we're about to see something really amazing in a little bit but before we do that tower's looking at me wrong down you go baby let us follow it let us follow the path of destruction as the tower feels what it's like to get freaking blasticated by a whole lot of explosive firepower and if that wasn't enough the fuel tank on the top portion always goes up in flames whenever it gets hit actually there's another couple of towers over here that are looking that are looking at us askew now i will say once you're done firing should you want to actually let me go ahead and get my camera out you can drop this top portion so it's not sitting on top of the vehicle and it'll slide right off and now you've got just a regular old tank over here. Well, sometimes the sides just kind of bust off, but you know how it goes. Still has every bit of firepower and machine gun power that a normal tank would have. But just on top of all that, it has those rockets. Whoa! <laughs> oh, come on, man. You know what time it is. I wonder if we can get both buildings in one shot. It arcs a little bit, so you kind of have to fire downward a little bit. Hold on, right about... Let's do this, right about here, and then slow motion. I'm gonna see if I can turn the rockets off. This way they're not exploding all of our eardrums out. Ah, oh, I was a little bit low. Oh, just barely though. Look at that shot. Hold on, if we get back inside, oh, I may be able to get the other one to fire just in time, come on. In fact, you know what? Let's put two down range. We'll put two down range, why not? You're not going down yet, building. Do not go down. Do not go down as that building hits you. I have rockets incoming. They need to do their thing. Oh, the building just got rocked big time. But we're still going to get our hits in. So that makes me happy. Right over here, other missile. Bam. Yeah. And this one's kind of doing an interesting arc upward. Man. And all of the buildings. What happened over here? No. How did I die from this? This, this wasn't supposed to be this way. We still have two rockets left. I feel terrible because we didn't get to use them. I feel like we need to rocket something more appropriate. So over here, we have the Army Outpost by Rooney. Looking pretty slick, too. I gotta tell you something. 
This is one of those buildings that has all your interiors and stuff too. Look at this. I think is that a light system in here? I kind of wonder if there's a light system in here. We're gonna try that. Warning! High explosive. Sounds perfect, Bruni. Sounds like a vehicle that's right up my alley. Oh, there we go. We got some lights now. It doesn't. It doesn't look like there's a firing method. I'm trying the alternate mode as well, just to kind of see if anything happens. It doesn't look like it. It looked like there was something over here. Right over here, but I guess it's just decorative. It does have the nighttime lights, though, as well as this sweet tower. Oh, this is gonna blow up real good. This is gonna blow up perfectly. Up here, what do we have? Oh, look at this. You got a lantern up here. You got your hardware. You have this. <laughs> I don't wanna, I don't wanna utilize any kind of guesswork here, because I don't want to infuriate those who know what this legitimately would be in this army outpost. What do you think, guys? This looks like a pretty legitimate army outpost. Got some barricades over here. Let's go down the steps as we do. Now, to be fair, I don't think I have seen anything survive the K-10. The K-10 is completely OP. There's no doubt about it. Now, you can fire this thing slow or fast. Supposedly, the developer has messed around with the physics a little bit in the slow motion. So it's possible it works a little bit better or it's just a little bit more optimized. But let's do it fast real quick. We're gonna fire one quickly. Bam! Nothing left of the tower. How about the high explosive area? What should we find over there? Boom! High explosive was right. Oh, there is, there's nothing left. There's like a little bit of the roof left. We'll go ahead and clean that up. There we go. I would hate for that to just be sitting around all alone and depressed. Here's the main base. Oh, whoa. Okay, that, that. That missile kind of went a little bit too low for comfort. And we have one more, so we might as well use it. <laughs> I blew my own camera out. No. But you can see the sheer firepower this thing has. Let's do it in slow motion. All right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to fire all five missiles all at once. And we'll see the fireworks go off. I'm going to have to really move quick for this. Actually, I wonder if I can fire it without this thing bouncing too much. Hold on. Let's slow it down. All right, the bounce actually seems pretty minimal here. Fire up the rockets. And release all of the rockets. Release all of the rockets. Oh, look at this cluster. Look at this cluster. Oh, no. Yes. It's just a giant fireball. You can't even see. We still got a building behind us. The army outpost is kicked like a field goal across the entire map. Although it held together very well. I think it's because a lot of the missiles kind of hit low. They hit like the ground just before the outpost. So it almost like kicked the outpost like a soccer ball. Now we know him and love him. Scrumptious is back with the B2. As usual, in classic scrumptious fashion, this thing is completely and utterly overkill. I love it. This one has 63 cluster bombs in it. This is the B2 Spirit. Inside, let's take a look at the cockpit area. Of course, of course, scrumptious wouldn't allow this to just be a plane with nothing inside. Here, over here, we have positions. We have the target bunker, although today the target is uh, Bricksville. Landing gear is okay. The bombs are loaded. Hey, guys, we still have 80% fuel, which is good. Is this thing slowly kind of bouncing toward the edge of the Sarlacc pit? I don't think it's moving, but I feel like it's bouncing a little bit. Let's go inside. Inside over here, you can see an absolute mess of bombs kind of precariously bouncing in the back over here. I feel a little bit uncomfortable having 63 bombs inside. Now, there's nothing you need to do here. No detaching. No special finger work. That sounds terrible. No special control work. You just have to hold the page up or page down button, and you are good to go with the bombs. Let's see how well this thing takes off. I'm actually zoomed out as far as I can be right now. This is scary. Away we go. Oh, the eardrums. Oh, the eardrums are getting blasted. Uh-oh. 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 Okay, I don't think that this thing can take off quite so easy. Uh, hold on, let me try something else. Well, wasn't expecting that. Don't know what just happened, but I wasn't expecting that. Now, to those of you who think that I just pressed a button, nothing happened. I went into free cam. So unless F somehow is connected to the kill gray button, 
I feel like that one wasn't my fault. Oh, it's working. It's working. Sort of. Okay, it's not really. Oh, come on. There's the carcass of the B2. Getting up into the air is proving to be a little bit of a challenge. No! Ugh. Well, I'm surprised at how strong the, stru the overall structure of the bomber is. All right, I believe I can fly, just barely. Let me see if I can close the hatch over here. Alter I, do I believe you have to take the alternate mode off to do that. Oh God, what have I done? What have I done? Oh no, oh no. No! My beautiful B2! It's so good at kamikazing the ever living crap out of everything around it. Oh no, my body floating lifelessly. And there it goes across the entirety of the map. It, look at how well it glides. Like, even when it's in pieces and there's nothing in it, it glides so good. All right. We're, we're gliding in. Bomb hatch is opening, and I think this should do it. I'm pretty sure that right now, all of the bombs should be spilling out. Let me go ahead and start up the engines. This way it does its thing. Oh, yes. Okay. That is an absolute mess of bombs. Look at how many. There they go. Oh, they're starting to explode. Oh, the fire, the brimstone. The destruction, it's everywhere. There's even more bombs pouring out right now. Yes! Oh, the cluster bombing on this thing is absolutely fantastic. Yes, B2 Spirit. There's some buildings that have called you a jerk. Why don't you teach them what freaking time it is? I'm pretty sure that they're about to find out what time it is. Come on, blow up. You know you want to. There we go. A few of them blow up. A few of them just kind of laid on the ground. I'm very surprised that all the bombs did not explode as I would have expected. I, I've apparently been killed in action. Now the vehicle is smashing into the side over there. Hold on. Let us take a moment to look at some of the destruction. It's not as bad as I would have thought. Actually, for 63 bombs, it... Now, don't get me wrong. It did some work. Okay. It did some work. But I would have expected that the entirety of Bricksville would be gone right now. Let's try one more bombing run. And then there's another version of this, and all it has is a giant, like, really, physically, a giant nuclear bomb on it. This is the B-2 bomber. We are beginning our approach, opening up the bomb bay doors as we do. I think if we open them right about here... Oh, I'm getting beeped because I'm pressing too many damn buttons at the same time. I think that if we open them right about here, it should work almost perfectly this really works the best in slow motion because then you have enough time to do all this look at how long it takes those bombay doors to open okay now hold on let me see if i can get it moving upward so that it continues to go away from bricksville because we don't want this thing in the way when we're blowing everything up right about there and i'm just gonna let it glide like that there we go and it should just nice and calmly glide. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's gliding all right. This is interesting. It's the exact same path that we had before. Like, literally, the exact same path. All of the bombs coming down into their position. And already bombs are starting to blow up. Already bombs are starting to detonate. Nothing taking out anything new and exciting, though. No different buildings explodicating. Uh-oh. Oh, the bomber's getting a little bit low for comfort over here. A little bit lower than I had anticipated. Oh, the bomber's gonna get hammered. The bomber's gonna get hammered. The bomber explodes into a shower of pieces. Holy crap. The pieces are going off in an orbit just about. Now, when that thing exploded, it really did a number on all the... Look at all the secondary and tertiary and quadratory explosions. There's so many extra explosions going on over here. The B-2... Went out, just, it's like trying to leave the entirety of the universe over here. Trying to exceed escape velocity. Although now I think it's coming back down. I think it's falling back down in a oddly controlled glide-like ascent. Yeah, it's falling back down. Hold on. Let's see if we can catch it where it lands. Let's see if we can catch it where it lands. Come here. Come on. Come on. Right about. There we go. There we go. We're going to get it now. Where'd it go? How did I miss it? Oh, there it is. 
I was like, how can I miss the flaming wreckage of the B2 as it hits the ground? That's impossible. And the B2 comes to rest on the ground. And in its final hit, there is very little. Actually, it got sheared completely in half. Look at that. It's almost like it got broken in half like a potato chip or something. Let's go try the other version of this with a giant bomb on it and see what that does to the city. All right. We had what I believe is just the right amount of altitude. Now the question is how far will this, look at the size of this thing. The question is how far will this bomb fall? And did I shoot it a little bit short? Let's find out. Ah. Yeah. All right, coming in. Start opening right about here, I'll bet. Right about here. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and let this thing fly off into the sunset. Jump out of the cockpit. Where's the bomb at now? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's gonna do it. That's gonna do it. There we go. There we go. It wasn't bad. You would expect a little bit more from it, given the sheer size of that bomb. I'll bet if you could hit this little pocket right over here, you could probably do pretty good. Temo's strategy is back. With what I think is called the Odin-class hurricane. What is this? It is a giant flaming... Now, he said himself, this is not made to be pretty. It's not made for style. It's made to destroy everything in its path. It is a flaming red multi-turret rocket toting machine gun surrounded thing it's kind of a tank i don't really even know what to categorize this as in the alternate mode you'll notice all of the different weapons we have look at how ridiculous look at this two shots the building goes down we have machine guns on all sides and then on top of that i'm pretty sure we have, yeah, right over here, we have rockets, because why not? There we go. Right, did that just, did that rocket, like, curve amazingly right down the pit? It did. It did, like, a 90-degree bend right down the pit. What was that? Let's try this one. Wow. Uh, these rockets curve freakishly well. Hold on. Let's get into the middle of the, can this thing even move? It moves, it just doesn't turn. It, it, you can't turn this thing. It's insane. So here it is rolling down the roadway. Go into the, uh, the alternate mode over here. Da, da, da. Let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and bring this entire city down with this thing. There we go. Couple of buildings over there. Couple of buildings over there. That building got in our way. Look, that's wrong. Why not? Right over there is pretty good. Oh, we're losing a ton of wheels. We are losing a ton of wheels. Hold on. Let me see if I can uh, shoot our rockets over here. Did that rocket even go anywhere? Oh no! I think it's I think it's stuck inside of the. There we go. That one went away, but it didn't. It it just kind of it just kind of flew off into the sunset. You can hit action button three to set off. Okay, I thought I had shot the one with numpad three, but apparently I did not. And now we're, wow, actually even with the rocket exploding. The creature. I can't even call it a tank. The thing is still in surprisingly good condition. The front end is completely obliterated. But the rest of it is okay. Like, some of the turrets are alright. Let's drop a bomb on it. Alright, boys. Stay on target. Stay on target. Stay on target. Screw you, keyboard. I'm not gonna listen to your crap. Alright. Where's the bomb at? Oh. Oh. The bomb fell way too shallow. Are we gonna run into this thing with the B2? Okay, this is not what I meant to have happen. But mother of God, of all beings together, what happens when a B2 bomber runs into the Odin-class hurricane? Who's gonna come out on top? Well, technically the B2's coming out on top, but who will survive? Oh, oh, uh, okay. Stop, stop. Wow. <laughs> Like 10 minutes later, the nuke goes off. This is, I can't believe it. Like the plane legitimately just landed right on the hurricane. It's just, they're just sitting together like best pals. They're just hanging out in the middle of Bricksville. Like, hey, 
how you been? And Odin's like, oh, I've just been blowing up Bricksville. How about you? And the B2's like, wow, that's, that's crazy. I was just flying over Bricksville, dropping nukes and stuff on it. How, who would have thought? Small world. Explode for gray. Explode for gray. Explode for gray. Explode for gray. There we go. That was a perfect bomb drop and wow, nothing happened. Like there's a lot of smoke and there's a lot of destruction and the B2 is landing right next to this thing. But there's really no damage. All right, the hurricane's amazing. All right, since the B2 had its day in the sun, we're gonna have to finish it off. Here we go. Let me move some of the turrets over there. Whoa. Yes. Oh, light it up. Light that tailpipe up. That's at least four shots coming at that thing. Wow. I will say, the slow-mo is surprisingly smooth over here. Hold on, let's try it again. Let's see if we can hit it again. There we go. A couple more shots right up the tail. Oh, we're going high, hold on. Now there's no... <laughs> I'm bringing down all the buildings, I can't hit it. There we go. Hold on. Yeah. One more time. One more time, come on, come on. Yes. The B2, a tough bird for sure. All right, we've been doing bombing for a while. Let's do some destruction with heavy equipment. Ah, heavy equipment destruction. Made for construction, but I prefer it for destruction. Over here, this motorhome by the Yo-Yo Kill 68. Good looking motorhome, right? Looks pretty legit. I like the appearance of it. It's got an interior. I think we may have checked this out a while back, as a matter of fact. I'm always a big fan of places like this that go all out on the interior because it makes it all the more fun to run it over with a giant pancake maker by Scrumptious. Yes, not only does Scrumptious make things like massive AT-AT walkers and Star Wars stuff and giant bombers and things and the like, but he also makes beautiful construction equipment like this. Now, how well will something like this pulverize a motorhome? Do we have to put it on invincibility, I wonder? Let's check it out. Let's get going over here. Oh, this is going to be good. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Bring it. Bring it down, baby. Bring the motorhome down. Now, I don't think... Hold on here. I think that we're losing most of our... Oh, it still works. I'm pretty impressed. It still legitimately works. Here we go. Get a little bit of momentum and just smash the side of the motorhome. Yes, bricks are coming off in droves. Let's get one last little charge in here to see if we can bust down the side of this anymore. Yeah, we're definitely doing damage to it. The damage is very smooth, too. I think that the damage would be better, though, with an even lower to the ground vehicle. There we go. A Ford Crown Victoria Sheriff style vehicle by LEL Turtle. I'm sure this should work out nicely. All right. I hate to say it, but there's a new sheriff in town. All right, let's see what kind of speed we can get. 18, 19, you can almost get to 20. Oh, we are at 20. And then hammer the, oh, wow. Okay, well, that actually worked out fairly well if we could have driven all the way through it. We're rolling, we're rolling. Take it out, baby. Yes, drag it with us. Oh, <laughs> Oh, yes! That's what I wanted to see. Oh, roll over it. Okay, now that is how you make a pancake right there. Yes, a delicious sheriff's vehicle pancake. Freshly made by Scrumptious' pancake maker. Wow. All right, boys. You know it. It's time to make the pancakes. I got this thing driving on autopilot. It's awesome. So we're going to get to watch it from the third person. Hold on, here we go. Here comes the pancake maker. Oh, it's going a little wide. Oh, it's going a little wide. Oh, the front end. Oh, the front end. Oh, man. All right, hold on. I think we can do better. All right, I'm gonna drive it right until the end here. Now, I think if we put it in slow motion, it'll mess up the physics, probably. But I kind of want to see what it's like in slow motion. There's still plenty of pieces on all the cars over here, so I'm not worried about it in the slightest. Let's see, let's get us... There we go. All right. Do it to it, baby. Roll them. And that right there, boys, is how you make the pancakes. Oh, pancake maker. Oh, <laughs> yes. Oh, no. The pancake maker's starting to fly. 
Now, this is the only negative part of the physics over here. It's fantastic to watch. It just causes all sorts of inappropriate things to happen. Guys, hope you enjoyed this episode of Brick Rigs, where we got to see even more bombers, but we've got to take a little bit of a break and see some of the heavy equipment construction stuff. I think I want to do more stuff with heavy equipment. If you know any cool heavy equipment you want me to take a look at, feel free to let me know, maybe through Twitter or something like that. Until the next time, folks, they foxy and much love. <laughs>